Hey everybody, it's the Codependent Coder, Adam Parkin, and today I thought I'd do another little video about PyTest and Django. So the last video I did, I just sort of outlined the basic process of um, getting a, a Django project working with PyTest. And then I thought I'd sort of continue on off of that because there's one little sort of thing I didn't get to or wrinkle. Um, so the way you normally run tests in a Django project is, oops, is you do it through the manage.py script. So Python manage.py test will run your unit tests. And you can see it does. Um, but that's running the unit test with the built-in test runner, the, the normal unit test based one, not with PyTest. And I have my project set up here to uh, um, run, I can run my test with PyTest by using the PyTest executable, but that's a different command, right? So if someone's sort of um, familiar with Django, but not familiar with PyTest, they'll probably come to this project and try running the test with the manage.py and the, they get, the, you don't get that nice PyTest goodness. So I thought I'd uh, outline a way of, you know, creating that functionality within, um, through the manage.py script that Django provides. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. So um, just get started. I have a couple links, um, sorry. There we go. So it's certainly possible in Django to uh, create your own custom admin com management commands. And the convention is, is you just inside your application, this is from the, the Django doc. So the, the Django docs create this polls application as an example. Um, within your Django project, you create a directory called management. Within that directory, you create a directory called commands. And then inside there, you put one file for each command you want to add. And then the convention is the name of the file in this case close poll is the name of the command. So if you had this structure set up in your project doing a python manage.py close poll would execute this close poll command and the actual what that command does you define through code inside that file. And they give an example of this, you know, the sort of the basic idea is you um, import this base command class, you create a class called command and it has to be called command and you inherit from base command and then you just provide this handle method. And the handle method is the thing that sort of does whatever the command's supposed to do. Um, and in terms of like, you wanna do sort of fancy command line arguments, that's this add arguments function where you, um, it's based on the arg parse, module, arg parse module, which is built into Python. So as an example, let's just sort of start off with a, a creating a simple custom management command. You can see I already have my management directory here and a commands directory. So inside there, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call mine pytest because I wanna create, a, I wanna to get to the point where I can go python manage.py pytest. And currently that doesn't work because well, there's nothing in this file right now. So we gotta fill it out, but we'll get there. Uh, so what do we need? Well, we need that. And just to make things easier because I'm a lazy coder, I'm gonna copy that line from the docs and import from base command, handle, and I believe the convention is just args and quargs as the parameters. And just to prove that this is working, I'm just gonna print out hello world, just to make sure I got the mechanics right. Um, so I've saved that. And now if I run this, I should see hello world get printed to the screen. Ta-da, magic, that easy. So we're off to a really good start here. Okay, so that's cool. I got my basic command set up here. So now I can do a manage.py pytest. Now I need to figure out some way to actually run pytest from this handle function. Um, and that's actually pretty straightforward because there's actually in the pytest docs, um, there's a section called uses and invocations and it tells you all the different ways you can actually run pytest. And one of them, if you scroll down here, there's this calling PyTest from Python code, and that's exactly what we want. So the trick is, is you just import PyTest, and then you call this PyTest.main function. And that's exactly the same thing as if you were running PyTest by the command line. And then the idea is any command line arguments you would normally pass on the command line, you just pass in as a list uh, to this function. If you've ever done anything with like the subprocess module, subprocess module, or, um, uh, what's, I can't even remember the Python module off the top of my head. The one for like shelling out to commands, this sort of structure is very, very familiar and it will seem um, quite familiar to you. But anyways, so this is what I want. 
So if I go back to my code here, uh, first thing I need is I need to import PyTest. That's easy enough. And I'm just going to get rid of that line. And now I need to go PyTest.main. And that should be the same thing as just doing PyTest. So if I do PyTest, I get this output. Right now it's saying no test ran because I, I haven't um, set it up to actually point to my test directory. So if I actually point to the test directory, it'll, it'll see, you'll see it actually runs the tests. Um, but what I should see now is if I do Python match.py pytest, I should see the same pytest output. Oh, well, very similar. File not found pytest. Uh, it wasn't quite the message I was expecting. Yeah, module pytest has no main member. Hmm, that's not what the docs say. Did I copy it wrong? I think VS Code is just just crazy at the moment. Okay, let's let's run with this. But in any case, this is this is a step in the right direction. You can see just from running Python manage by dot py pytest, it is in fact running pytest. Um, I'm just getting no no file not, error file not found. That is, it's not finding my my tests. So if I say okay, point it at my tests. Oh, hmm, that doesn't work. And the reason that doesn't work is because a default custom Django management command, um, if you don't have that add arguments um, function defined, the defaults are just like help, version, settings, like the actual sort of default arguments that any custom Django command would get. And that's not what I want. I want to actually, um, essentially I want to be able to pass any arguments to this that I would normally pass to PyTest. Like if I want to do dash V for verbose or VV for very verbose or dash dash LF for last failed, um, et cetera, et cetera. I just want those passed straight through to this PyTest main function. And so that kind of begs the question because the way, one way of approaching this would be to be like, okay, I'm going to get my add arguments function here. Oh, PyTest is so clever, or VS Code is so clever, it filled out the function for me. Um, I don't want that though. Actually, I want to go back to the Django docs here. Um, so again, the convention here is, this is the way you normally add arguments to your, your custom management commands with this add arguments function. So I'm actually just going to copy paste that in. Okay. So I could add these parser add arguments calls to define all the different options that I might potentially pass to PyTest. Um, and that would be one way of doing it, but that is non-trivial because the, the interface to PyTest here is like, there is a lot of options, a lot of <laughs> options. And not only are there a lot of options, the options available to you are dynamic. For example, you can see I have the PyTest Django plugin installed. And because of that, I have additional options available to me. So I don't like, there's no way for me to know what plugins are installed at the time this add arguments function is, is defined. Really all I want is whatever is passed to my Django custom management command to take those arguments, pass them straight through unchanged to this PyTest main function. And so there's a little trick for doing that. And that's with, um, again, so that add arguments function is based all based around this arg parse module, which is built into Python. So really the question becomes, how do I in arg parse get that sort of just accept any arguments and Give, just give me them as the straight through as that, that list I can pass on. And there's a way if we scroll down to the and arg section. Do, 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 do. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Ah, I went back. Okay, there we go. So really it comes down to this and args thing. And you'll notice if you scroll down a little more, there's this arg parse remainder option you can pass to it. And really, it's for this use case. Uh, so as the section I've just highlighted reads, it's commonly useful for command line utilities that just simply dispatch to other command line utilities. I, I'll take a bunch of arguments in and I'll just hand them off to this other thing that can deal with the, the validation and the making sure you pass the right 
things in the right order and all that stuff because PyTest itself will handle that for us. Um, so that's cool. So that's all we need to do. So really it's just, uh, we still have our add arguments function and we still need a parser add argument. But what we're going to do is the arguments called args, which will get plugged in place of this guy. And the number of arguments is just literally the remainder of anything that's passed along the command line. And if we do that, we can then do this little trick to just take that thing, turn it into a list and pass it straight through to, to PyTest main. And now, ah, Python manage py pytest. Um, let's point it to my tests. Django test tests. So now I should actually that argument I've just given there, the Django test tests, i.e. the the path to my test should get passed through to pytest main, and all should work. Oh, it should work once I import arg parse. And ta-da! And again, I can use whatever arguments now that I would normally pass to PyTest here. So if I want dash V for verbose, or VV for very verbose, or I want to do durations, um, sorry, dash dash durations. If you're not familiar with this command, this is a handy one in PyTest that tells you the, the top n uh, slowest parts of your test suite. So in this case, I'm saying, show me the five slowest parts of the, the three tests I have. And you can see the longest is the setup of this this first test and then everything else is like completely inconsequential. Uh, this is a trivial project. So, but on a real project that option is actually quite handy for um, just, you know, getting the, the amount of time your tests take to run down. I've definitely used it a lot, but so that's pretty cool. That actually works and all, and you can see it's really small amount of code. There's not a lot to this. The one little caveat though is Remember the, the motivation behind all this was like, okay, in a default Django project um, that's not using PyTest, the way you normally run the test is you go Python man shot PyTest. And so I want I want this command, this the built-in one to actually do the, the same thing that this PyTest command does. So I could, um, there's actually a way you can actually override these built-in commands and we're gonna do that. And so one way of doing this would be well, here, I'll show you what you do. And then I'll kind of explain. So again, the name of the command you want to, you can create a custom, any custom command you want. And so I'm going to create one called test. And that's going to take the place of this test. And the reason that works is because if you look at the settings for my Django project here, there's this installed app section. And the key is if your project that contains this management command is the last one in this list, then it's going to use um, the the test command from from your project. So that it's a neat little trick. So it gives you a way to sort of override or shadow the built-in um, Django manage pi commands. Um, so if I go back to my test.py here, so one thing we could do is we could just literally just take this code, copy it, paste it right in here, and that should work. So now if I do manage.py test that I should get the exact same output I got before. Oh, and I do. And again, the same problem is it's not, I actually have to point to my tests. And there we go. But like, I don't like duplicating code. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, I could just delete this pi test pi custom command and just leave the test.py. That would be totally fine. There's another thing you can do is you can actually just um, cre essentially create an alias to an existing management command. And it's actually remarkably simple. So recall the, the mechanics of the way these custom Django management commands work is it looks in the management commands directory and any Python script it finds in there, the name of that script is the name of the command. And then what it does is just inside that file, it looks for a class called command that inherits from base command. And once it finds that, that's what it will run when you run that command. So what we could actually do here is just uh, from Django test dot, I could just import that class from the PyTest file. Uh, Django test 
management dot commands import I'm oh, sorry commands dot test import command sorry pi test I'll get there <laughs> so what that does is that when I do a python manage .py test it will look inside this test.py file it'll read this first line that says just import this thing called command and so that means now inside this file the command class is actually the same class that is defined in this file so magically it just works pretty simple um, just a couple of neat little tricks this is actually a really useful technique for uh, anytime you want to create an alias for an existing um, Django management command um, you just all you have to do is import the command class from whatever the file that contains that command is in and it just works it's quite handy anyways that's all I got so hopefully this was really useful anyways cheers